uh, over there behind Sean the sheep, <coughs> you see a miserable looking avocado tree on the other side of the field. Oh boy. Yep, just a couple of months back, that tree was fat, green, happy. Just a beautiful little old avocado tree. Yeah, then the lace bugs, avocado lace bugs, got here to the island. And it's lost well over half of its foliage, and a lot of the rest of the stuff hanging in the tree is very disturbed from the insects. Well, this little tree right here, that's a grafted ka'alu'u. It's easy to protect because I can use a spray on it. As well as this little guy here. He got shot with spinosad and oil. Now here's a bit bigger tree, but still, again, not too big to work with by using a tank sprayer. And so this one also got a shot of spinosad and oil. It had gotten hit pretty hard before uh, um, I got to it. I had to pay attention to the fact that the trees were getting damaged. This right here is the sort of stuff you're looking for. Along the mid ribs of the leaves, they start turning brown. You turn them over, and you can actually see the little insects on there. If they're still alive, they will move. It uh, feels sandpapered and dry to the finger. And the turds from the insects come off. The thing's a little bit like a thrip, kind of, the way it feeds and leaves them droppings on the leaves. Anyway, that's what it looks like. And if you got that stuff on your avocado tree here on the island, well, you got the new bugaboo that got here just a couple years back. Uh, we had it in California, but it didn't seem so bad. Once it got here, it just ran amok through these trees. We had wild avocado seedlings all across the island. They're all over the place. Uh, there's quite a good race of seedling avocados that exist here. Some really good fruit. Uh, and so they're kind of everywhere. And uh, the bug, you know, we just had a field day. Yeah, right over here behind me, this poor defoliated specimen is one of the older avocado trees I had here. This is a uh, seedling, a uh, chance seedling from a uh, form of West Indian avocado, one of the big round cannonball types. Um, they came out of a farmer's market thing. It got in my compost, it popped up from 2007, and then it's been pretty reliable at making good quality avocados. Um, unfortunately, this year, every leaf was eaten off the tree by the dang avocado lace bug. At the same time, the tree was flowering, and so all the flowers disappeared too. We will have no avocados on this tree this year. Um, the problem with trees the size of the one behind me is that they're hard to spray. I mean, a trombone sprayer, which very few of us really have, could probably get high enough. If you have some sort of a pressure power sprayer, uh, you know, that's gas driven or driven in the PTO or your tractor or something, that probably produce enough pressure to get to the top of this tree. But all I got is tank sprayers and backpack sprayers. I get hit about half of the tree and give myself a bath too at the same time. Although, I, what I've been using on the smaller trees is spinosad, which is a bacteria. Um, it's uh, relatively safe for use around most things. Um, if the trees are flowering, don't use it because it will attack pollinating insects too. But it only has about an 11 day life cycle and so it, hopefully you have hit and killed whatever you were trying to get rid of at the same time. I use uh, oil along with it too, thinking that the lace bug being a lot like a thrip, uh, that the, the oil may also have an effect. So it's kind of a double whammy since I'm not that familiar with dealing with this bug. I had to come up with some kind of a recipe and so um, spinosad and oil in water works fine. I used uh, uh, the recipe to the bottle on spinosad, and then I added a tablespoon of oil to gallon uh, to it, <clears throat> and uh, it, it did a good job. I just can't get it up onto this tree, and it was way too late. By the time I started thinking about it, uh, you know, this is not something we were prepared for. Uh, I am now. So, like I said, unless you have powered spray equipment spraying these avocados here, 
the big ones it's a real problem and I'll bet a lot of you have trees that look almost as bad as the one behind me here um, really the only good solution that I can even think of is uh, to be using a systemic um, type of uh, like an imidacloprid which is a neonicotinoid it will knock them out it'll knock them out for 12 months um, and you know if you use it like now uh, if the tree bloom season was this moment for instance you put it down on the tree by the time the tree comes back to flower the imidacloprid will be worn off um, and so it's a it's a thought if your tree looks as bad as mine does because man you just can't let them have at it um, otherwise I may be looking into some uh, more high-powered spray equipment so I can deal with these things I love avocados and there ain't no bug gonna take my avocados from me I'm sorry so uh, right now I'm not even sure I haven't looked to see what the county's recommendations are with this stuff um, but definitely bacterias and oil like spinosad on smaller trees or um, the use of uh, systemic like a metacloprid uh, neonicotinoids which are hated uh, would also work I really can't think of much else you can do other than just give up but I'm not about to give up on avocados <laughs> Aloha, y'all. Hang loose and get them lace bugs.